Hi, Glenn. Good afternoon. Yeah, this is still a very active and developing investigation. Police have not yet positively identified the two victims in this murder-suicide investigation, but we uh, do know that they are in their 30s, the man living here in an apartment just beyond this gate here in the Palazzo Apartments. This all unfolded, you can see, from Sky 5 around 7.30 this morning, a neighbor calling 911 after hearing gunshots and screaming from a woman in a next-door apartment. We're told uh, the initial call said that as many as 10 Ten shots were heard. Officers, patrol officers arrived on scene. They entered the apartment. They found a back bedroom door closed. And when they tried to enter that back door, that's when they heard an additional two shots. The SWAT team was called in. They came in as a precaution. And when they finally entered the apartment, they found a man and woman dead from gunshot wounds. We received a radio call of several shots being fired inside the location with a woman screaming. So uh, the officers responded immediately, were able to contact the person who made that phone call, get some additional information, and they made a decision at that point to make entry into the location. And a weapon was recovered at the scene. Who shot who? Not yet clear. This investigation is still ongoing. This was very disruptive this morning for the morning commute. Part of Hauser was shut down while this all unfolded. And neighbors on the first three floors of this complex, this is a very big complex, some 600 units, uh, were evacuated this morning. Again, we are waiting on the uh, coroner to arrive here. And uh, we are also waiting uh, more information on who, on who these two victims are, a man and a woman believed to be in their 30s. We'll have more on this story coming up, up at 6 for now. Lou and Glenn will send it back to you.